everyone welcome back to my channel it's Angela here and today I'm going to bring you a short little video so it's one of those quick and easy ones I hope so let's get started now I'm working on the second signature my baking bliss journal and I wanted to do a nice quick video for you like I usually do for a Sunday so um, I'm going to open up this is the front page for the second signature and on the back of that we've got a tea stain page which I printed on there using my digital tea ever and uh, lace pages which you know I use a lot of um right so what I thought was I was looking about and thinking what can I use and I was in the scrap making mood as I have been for well I'm always using the scraps but trying to focus more on them than I would normally so I had a look around and I found a piece of an envelope just like this um I'd, I remember cutting off the bottom piece and using that earlier um in a one of the other projects but I thought okay there's this piece here okay I have distressed it it looks a bit uh dodge but <laughs> that's just the distress ink um so it was just this piece here now I'll give you some measurements for this quickly let me have a look um this equates to 13 and a half centimeters and I think if I look on my inches that's five and a half more or more or less um in inches and this way it is 11 centimeters and I think that's just over t uh, four so yes it is four and a quarter inches wide so I thought what can I do with this what can I do with this so I thought right quick and easy Angela it's um, your Sunday video so I thought right I'm going to do some layering and make a couple of pockets and things so I thought right that can go there um, so that's what we're going to start with right and as I said um, looking in the scraps I've got this strip of tea stained paper and you know I don't like those blue bits underneath there it's not my nice spec savers green one so I thought right this is perfect I'm going to be using up these scraps it was perfect for the width and I wanted to just grab my scissors and I didn't cut it because I wanted to show you um, that these strips have so many uses Right, so I'll use that for another bit. Right, so I'm going to stick that on the inside here. I'm going to just take my um, art glitter glue to do that. It's just going to cover up the blue there, which I don't particularly want for this project. So um, let's do that. Right, I'm so sorry about um, my video for the Friday, Saturday. I have had, I, I recorded it all in one fell swoop trying to be clever you know and having things in progress I've realized that that's not a good idea it's better to stop the video and do shorter bursts because I just couldn't upload it to my computer never mind YouTube right enough of that um so we've covered the backing there and then again I was looking in my scrap envelope and there's a piece cut out here but I thought no I'm going to use this piece and I've sized it to fit over here like that so if you've got a bit and you think oh that's not quite the right size think what else you can do to you know pretty that up and and act like it was never there so I've cut this out from the lace page it comes from that same digital I was referring to earlier and you've seen me work out I just use my pencil and my knife I lift I work it out I just lift this bit up and I gauge where I want to draw my pencil marks and I use my ruler and join it up so it's no fancy cutting or anything you know it's my um, craft wall it's a Stanley knife an old Stanley knife and these are cheap as chips if you go and look in the DIY stores so you don't have to get a fancy expensive craft knife I've got the newer ones which are plastic and um, they're just as fantastic <laughs> that rhymes um, and there were three in there for next to nothing and I use them all the time so I recommend it okay so I'm going to stick this down let's do that quickly let's do that I've got a busy week um, coming up there I want to get the new kit launch next week I'm hoping for my um, next video on Tuesday or Wednesday depending where you live um, slot but it might end up being after that maybe I'll do a special video for that I'm not sure so I'm trying to get everything done and I didn't expect these unforeseen 
delays with the video technology. You've got to get my son in to come and help me. <laughs> and I'm quite savvy with things, but this required the services of my um, very savvy computer <laughs> uh, son. So there we go. That's We're going to be relying on him. So otherwise, I'm, uh, it's probably all the time I've spent on it, um, I could have redone it already by now. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? I did think that this morning. I thought, oh my gosh, Angela, you've been so long faffing with that thing. You could really have, have um, redone it, you know, and not had a problem. But of course, I have not. So there we go. Gosh, I'm faffing with this now too. Right. Hopefully that's stuck down. Hopefully we'll check. All right. Enough jabbering. I think it is stuck down. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Gosh, that art glitter glue is fantastic. Right. I am going to stick this down in a minute. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you what I did with one of my little templates. Now, this is from the templates to kit uh, templates. They come, um, you know, cut out um, on white paper. I've then uh, traced mine onto this size. This was the template that I had. So you don't get a printed template and mine's on card. Um, and this is a mini pocket. Now, I love these um, very much. They are really handy to use for all sorts of things. And what I did was I went and printed my background paper. So this is the pink background, which you can't see now because it's vellum, um, with the little peonies on it um, and I cut out one of these so I thought I'd show you how I do that quickly um, and I have made one up so all you do is you, it's as easy as this you put your template down you take your pencil you draw around it like that and you just cut out that shape so it's as easy as that so let's just quickly do that you do it with your scissors you know Mm, it's not hard at all but just having that template there for when you want to do this kind of thing is a time saver all right so you can't go wrong with that so there we go i was thinking about offering the printed vellum sheets with some of my background pages um in my shop let me know if that would be an option you'd be interested in guys Right, so there you have it. Now, all you need to do is you need to just um, take your ruler um, and line up. It's better to do it on this board here, really. So let's do that quickly. Line these up, get it straight. It has got the fold lines marked on the actual template. Um, so you can take your pencil and do that. But what I end up doing is I usually just get um, my board like this. I just uh, score an edge there. It's in line with that. And take that straight up on both sides. Um, so that's what we, we would do there. So it's just getting that straight. All right. And then just running your bone folder along there. Fold on the fold lines. So on the... There we go. So you just fold it like that. And you do the same on that side. Right. And, and then what I do is I just, I mean, you don't have to even score this. And if you don't have a bone folder, guys, use a butter knife. It works. I never had a bone folder for a very long time. So it's one of my favorite tools now. Right. So there's your little bag and you glue those three bits down, which I have done already. Okay. So it looks like this. All I did then was, was take these, you know, these things we used to use before overlockers when you're sewing, and I just cut a little zigzag across the top. So there we've got a little pocket there. So templates, a great um, way to save on time. Okay, so uh, what we want to do now is we want to start sticking down some of these things. I'm going to just take this middle signature out the way. Um, where's my little so we've got our little pocket here you can put some lovely um oh let's do that let's put a little bit of um this lace doily that i've got 
you know I like a bit of stenciling you can't go wrong with that so I've got my Victorian velvet here and I'm just going to take um, my little makeup brush thingy which was never a makeup brush <laughs> And then starting at the corners and sort of going out a little bit. Just going to put a very light little bit of distress ink. And it is very light. All right. And then the same here. So let's just do a little bit here. Um, start in the corner because that's where it will be darker. That's why I say that. And then... Um, as you radiate out, it'll go and uh, become lighter and lighter. So I've just got a little bit like that there, nothing too heavy. All right, so that's Victorian Velvet, one of my faves. All right, so now we're going to just take our little pocket. We're going to um, place that up here, but of course I want to cover, and yes, you guessed it, it's going to go over that section over there. So it's just a case of finding exactly how I want it. Now I'm going to have a tag in there. Remember that's a pocket. So I think that's about where I want it. And the way I go about that is I just draw a little line. All right. And we're going to cover the line. It's pencil. I know now where I want it. So you could put a pocket behind here, but I'm not. I'm going to stick this down. I've got enough pockets on this page, but of course you could put another one in the back here as well. And you know these mailers, because this is one of those mailers um, that had junk mail in. So, you know, they're giving me free envelopes to create with, which I'm not complaining about. Right, so we want to get that in over here. I've got it on my line. There we go. I know that's the right spot. Now I'm not going to get a fright when I want to put this back on. That's too high and that's too low. <laughs> we can put it down, but I did actually have... Um, a couple of, of envelope, um, envelopes, little flowers. So I wanted to put those down, which will be easier before I stick that down. So let's get that down and also um, a little bit of lace. So jumping the gun there, right. Let's move those down. This is the lace from Plum Boutique. Oh, just love it. Cotton, beautiful blush colors. You just can't go wrong with the uh, beautiful ribbons and laces and things from Vanessa's store. I do love it as you guys know. Right, so I'm just bring, bringing a little bit of excitement into this. I'm going to put some glue on the top there. Um, right, so we've got that little bit over there. And that's gorgeous, I think. Just take my other scissors here. So let's just fold that back a bit. This is the joy about having loose pages and not sewing them in, that you can do all the sorts of things you can't always do when you have sewn in the signatures. Right, so very quickly, I am going to get this all stuck down. Okay, so let's stick the blue one down then. Right, so we'll just get this little lemon, but these are from the wildflowers, as you guys know, I love to use them. Um, not that high. We don't want to go over the pocket because I'm going to have a tag in there. So I'll get it a little bit further over. There we go. So now I can go and stick down my little um, pocket. So I'm going to just um, use some glue to do that. So that's looking lovely already. I quite like that. As I said, this is a quick little project. <laughs> I do like those quick ones. Right, so we've got all of this there. Like that. There we go. And now we can stick that there. And I wanted it just... doesn't matter that it's going to overlap that window a little bit. That's all right. Okay, so we've got that stuck down as well. Right, coming along perfectly. Right, let's deck, do some little decorations here. So I'm going to get it in the right order now. So I've got another one of these little wildflower dies. This is the first one I ever bought with these ones in it um, from the Sizzix ones. Um, all these details you can find for anything that I use is on my Amazon's favorite tools list. It just saves me looking all of that stuff up. So if you're interested in knowing what I use, please go and have a look over there. Otherwise, it might be a while that I 
uh, take to get back to you. Right, I'm, I was talking to you about little scraps and things. Um, and I did show you all those little bits in my scrap, my last video, all the bits from that back backing sheet that was scrappy, I've put in here. And this is just one of them. All right, so I'm going to use that and put this over here. Then I talked about those little circles and I've got a, a little, um, what is that? One and a half inch circle and a one inch, is that one inch? Yes, one inch circle. Um, and I'm going to use two of those. And then the other little elements I showed you that I cut out from the scrappy bits. Got a little oven mitt um, and a little butterfly. So we're going to arrange these on here. So the one thing I know for sure is um, the little small circle is going on top of this bigger one. So I'm going to get that ready and stick that down like that all right love those little peonies they're beautiful okay and then um i did have a little flower also cut out from the scraps and then one of my little sentiments now i'm going to put the sentiment over here so let's do that and then that's one less thing to worry about um having all these bits in front of you when you are crafting is inspiring i think i think it um it definitely um, gives me inspiration. It, it encourages me to come up with ideas with what's right in front of me on my desk, um, especially with scraps of paper and anything that's in that scrap envelope. Um, so I encourage you to give that a go as well. Right, so here we go. Um, There we go so there's the little flower and i wanted to put this over that like that somehow and then i thought i'd put that like that so let's get that down i think right so it was first this one yeah i love a little bit of font in my work so i try and use letters words font anything somewhere and of course with the black it brings some an amazing contrast in so you know yeah, let's get that stuck over there. Right, we're nearly at the end of this. How quick was that? Let's hope this one uploads. <laughs> Gosh, you know, I have days and I'll pull my hair out with, with um, technology sometimes, as I know we all do. Just giving that a little bit of a... Right. Uh, oh, I've stuck that a bit low now. That's all right, I can just angle it. I can do it a little bit off the page. There's nothing wrong with that. I like a bit off, off, off the page. It sort of brings the edge of the page, um, and you know, it, it's sort of, let's just do that like that. There we go. Right, oh, and our little butterfly, which I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him there. Or am I going to put him there? I think I'll put him on the top there. Right. Okay, so we'll put you here. There we go. And then just a little bit of... Now, I've lost the um, tweezers are somewhere in there. We're going to just put a little spot there. And one of these little... goodies right over there okay how gorgeous is that i love it and so easy too so go and look for those scrappy bits right we've got a little journal card this um i've taken i've actually made this from one of my mini pages it was half the page so um, again something i had left over from use this beautiful faux silk ribbon absolutely love how it picks up these pinks here love it just going to add a little spark of color there to our page so we've got our journal card sticking out the top there we've got this little card which has got a place to write a recipe uh, a name and the recipe and you can do more on the back there i've covered it in this paper which i do with all my ephemera that can go into our little vellum 
pocket. Now this vellum pocket, I think I did mine out of 100 GSM vellum. So very happy with that. Um, and then I thought, do I want to add, I've got the plum pudding piece as well, also from my ephemera, also covered it there and you can write something in there. And I was just thinking, do I want to add another piece here or do I not? We'll see. Do we, do we not? I don't know. We'll see. Right. So there's our little video. Quick and easy today, um, as always, on, on a weekend. Go and give it a try. Go and grab out those uh, scrap piles. Go and make circles. Cut out your bits and pieces and have everything ready. Um, and you can turn them into gorgeous items. Thanks, everyone, for spending time with me and being patient while technology is failing me. I will overcome it. I'm not a <laughs> defeatist at all. Um, it just tests me. But, you know, we all have those days, don't we? I look forward to seeing you very soon. I'll get the other video up for you and ready, hopefully. Um, if not, I'll just have to record it all again, which let's hope I don't have to do that. All right, so I'll see you in the week. Have a wonderful week. I hope you're excited about the new kick that will be coming in the next couple of days. Stay well um, and let me know what you think about this new little project. All right, lovely seeing, spending time with you guys as always. Bye-bye.